Hey, what's up everyone? Kabanarani 456 here. Today I continue my Let's Play on Sonic Heroes. So last time we did Frog Force and White Jungle, I believe. And now we are going on to Hang Castle right Sonic, now, so... Sonic, you sure this is the right way? I saw Shadow and Eggman head this way. This has gotta be the right way. But it's so spooky here! Maybe that's the ghost of Shadow we saw earlier. Ooh. Stop it, Knuckles! Alright then, so, uh, just to let you all know, this is actually my, uh, second take on recording this. Um, yesterday I recorded the part and stuff like that, and was, uh, in the middle of editing it, editing it, till I realized my HD PVR glitched out again. I don't know why, I, I really am planning on upgrading sometime soon, maybe to a- Oh my gosh, what the heck was that? Um, I do intend on actually upgrading to like a Black Magic sometime whenever the Wii U comes out so I can record 1080p videos. But uh, anyway, as I was saying, um, yeah, this is my second run, so playing this on my old file. And uh, you know, I don't have too much practice with these stages, but I kinda, I guess, got some yesterday. But uh, I absolutely hate these stages. They are the worst in the game, in my opinion. Like, they are just, ugh, I can't stand them. So, uh, but yeah. Um, anyway, there was one thing I did want to talk about, because, uh, you know, you all saw the last video, and, uh, with Frog Force and all. Some people posted some comments and stuff saying that I was wrong about, uh, Frog Force and Tails, and I was blaming the game and everything like that. And, you know, I usually say that I don't try to blame the game, and if some people actually take it, like I am blaming the game, then, well, that's not my problem, but... <laughs> Uh, yeah. It, I do actually want to kind of explain why I think it was Tails who actually... Oh my gosh, I hit the sword enemies. Why I actually think it was the game's fault at the time. And, uh, gonna go on and explain it, because, you know, I mean, I love this game and all. And I love a lot of Sonic games, and, you know, I don't, I, I really, really don't try to blame games, especially if they're, like, you know, underrated games and people just want to say this and that about a game. But, yesterday, yes, I really think it was the game's fault, and the reason why is because if you think about it, like, you know, some people are like, you were pressing the A button too early and stuff, and while, you know, technically you could say I was, because, um, you know, I'd swing backwards and then I'd press the A button, I shouldn't have swung backwards in the first place when I'm on those vines, and that was my main problem with it. See, that stuff right there with the vines never does happen with the other characters, to where, you know, you actually swing backwards when you're swinging towards them with momentum. I mean, seriously, Sonic 06 even got that right to where, you know, if you're swinging towards a vine, you're not going to be swinging backwards the moment you touch it. That makes no sense whatsoever. And it's like, seriously, if someone thinks that, you know, that's perfectly fine with a video game, then you need to go back to school or something. Because that is like, that that's just freaking retarded. To actually, right at the second you actually touch a vine or anything, like swinging on something, because I can run up, t suppose, imagine if I just ran up to a swing or something and jumped on it, and I, what the heck? I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Wait, what? Okay, thank All right, that was weird. I don't even know what just happened right there. But I was stuck. I was like, I couldn't even, I couldn't even jump for a second until it let me. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I can run towards a swing or something like that. And I'm not going to be swinging backwards the moment I touch it. This will really upset me, because Tails shouldn't have done that in the first place. And someone actually told me, like I said in the like last time, it actually is a glitch with Tails. He somehow, for some reason, he actually makes the vine swing backwards for some weird reason. And I don't know why, but, you know, it definitely defies all logic. I mean, I know Sonic games aren't supposed to be super realistic or anything, but... You know, I mean, that that's just real, like, for him to actually swing backwards does not make sense. And, oh my gosh, do not die here. Okay, camera, get together. Alright, there we go. There we go, that's more like it. Alright. But yeah, that's why I'm saying, because, you know, that whole vine section is pretty rhythm-based. 
And, you know, when you have a rhythm and all, you're not going to be expecting it to go off-beat. I mean, that's what, like, whenever I listen to great music and stuff like that, and I'm clapping to the beat or something, it pisses me off when I hear someone actually go off-beat just to be stupid or be annoying. Or be goofy and stuff like that. And... Or, like, actually disrupt the beat. And that's what, basically, tail swinging backwards on a vine was. It was throwing me off, so I was pressing the A button, expecting him to actually jump to be swinging forward with momentum, but he didn't, because he swung backwards. And I believe that was honestly a glitch. I was not trying to blame the game or anything. I mean, if seriously, if you just think about it, if you like use logic, you'd understand, and I'm glad some people actually did understand, but you know, if you don't, then, well, you won't understand, so... But yeah, that's my rant, basically, I guess you'd say. I think that that thing with the vines last time was a glitch. Even though, you know, people are like, you released it too early, you're supposed to do it when you fly forward and stuff. I already know that! What the thing is, is that he shouldn't have flown back, he should have, he shouldn't have swung backwards in the first place. He should have swung forward and then swung backwards. But I pressed the A button, anticipating for him to go forward, like, you know, I would when I'm clapping to music or something like that, to where I expect someone to follow a certain beat, but then, you know, I mean, if someone actually tries to throw it off, it's like, I'm thrown off, and then I have to actually adjust to that. But, uh, some people okay. these days, I don't know. What? But yeah, <laughs> I I don't know. I'm just you know, it just really irritates me sometimes when people post comments and stuff like that. They're like, oh my god, you're blaming the game. You're so stupid and stuff like that. Well, no, no one said that. Someone was like, oh my god, that irritates me so much. And you're blaming the game when it's obviously you. No. I know I'm releasing the A button earlier, but it shouldn't be, at, he shouldn't actually be swinging backwards. That's my main point. Because I know I released it before I should have, but I, it would have been, I would have actually made it. Because if you saw, when I did my run with Sonic, I did the exact same thing I was doing with Tails, but Sonic never actually even swung backwards, because you're not supposed to. But I digress. I, I am absolutely done. If someone actually has something to counter with that, I'd love to see it, because, you know, it, it, it would be pretty hilarious to actually see someone try and actually defend something like that. I can't, I can't even imagine someone trying to do that, but, you know, some people might. <laughs> so yeah, um, I haven't really talked too much about this stage because I was just ranting, because I was... That's something that's just been on my mind a lot and it's been really upsetting me. But this stage, you know, I really don't have too much to say about it besides I really don't like it. Um, the architecture though is actually pretty nice and it kind of, you know, it's kind of a different Sonic stage actually. That's one thing that is kind of cool about it. It's just that I don't like it. Because, you know, the levels, like I said, they're way too long and everything. And I hate those jack-o'-lantern things. They are just absolutely terrible in my opinion. But if y'all didn't notice right there, that statue at the bottom is actually Eggman. And then at the top, it's actually Metal Sonic. So I thought I thought that was pretty cool right there with the architecture and everything. The place. Alright, so you gotta be careful around here. Good thing we have a shield, actually. And wait a second. I didn't get a... Oh darn it, I didn't get the... I didn't get the key. I just realized that. Well, balls. I mean, they're not important or anything like that right now, because... Oh, crud. <laughs> that was terrible. I mean, it's not important on this run right here, but I would have liked to have gotten the key, actually. But I must have missed it. Oh my goodness. Because I think we're about to come to the end right here. Yeah. So this is kind of interesting, actually. We don't have the key for the next stage. Which is funny, because I usually try to get it as much as possible. But let's see right here. Please give me an A rank. A B rank? Are you serious? Freaking balls. Oh well. But, you know, I mean, I guess this video will be shorter. So... 
I don't know if that's really a good thing or not, but, you know, these stages can get so long. I mean, the last video was like almost 40 minutes long because of how long these stages are. So, uh, but yeah, you want to take out those gold robots right there, like I said before, I believe, because gold robots actually, um, are actually the leaders, and if you take out the leader, then you take out all the robots around the area, so make sure you're trying to do that. Look right there, it's freaking Jack Skellington from Nightmare Before Christmas. <laughs> oh gosh. Watch it. Yeah, those jack-o'-lanterns, they, they get all over the place in this stage. It's kind of, kind of sucks. Wait, did I hit the switch? Oh, I'm supposed to hit this switch. Derp. Okay, so hit it right here. Alright, let's see what's up right here. No! Wow, that was terrible. Uh, what? Wow. I didn't expect that. See there, I, like I said, I hate those sword enemies. And the reason why is because you can sometimes accidentally home attack straight into their actual, like, sword. That's what really, those enemies are actually the worst, in my opinion. Because they can be a really easy way to lose your rings and stuff like that, or your key. Which is why I usually should, and I usually try to, but I forgot when I was using Sonic. I usually try to use Knuckles, or, I mean, Tails on those guys. Because Knuckles even can hurt himself. So you gotta always be careful about that. Alright, good deal. So we took those dudes out. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> yeah, give me your opinions on what you think about uh, this stage right here. I know some people say they actually like it, some people say they don't because of the length of the stage. And I gotta agree. I mean, this stage, it's actually... I mean, I find this stage actually harder than uh, the last stage, like the um, Egg Fleet and stuff. Um... I don't know, it's just like, they seem, it seems like more annoying and all, with all these like different things that happen in the stage, like, the different things that happen in the stage, but uh, and it seems like this stage actually has more enemies, all, um, you know, the Egg Fleet and stuff in Final Fortress have more enemies, like, they have more stronger enemies, I think this stage actually has more enemies overall, well that's not a bad thing. I mean, you're going to find yourself getting into combat a lot, and you're going to have to constantly, uh, you know, you're going to have to constantly be going against these, uh, like, enemies at times, so. And then, also, you can't forget about these carts from hell. Yeah, I hate these. They're pretty bad. Gotta watch out for the lasers, though, and jump over them, because, uh, like you saw last time in, uh, what is it, Rail Canyon or something? I died or something. Or did I die? I can't recall. But yeah, you gotta be careful, basically. And this area right here, actually looking at it, it reminds me of uh, the Sonic Adventure 2 battle, um, you know, multiplayer missions to where... Darn it. Reminds me of the Sonic um, Adventure 2 multiplayer missions to where you can actually... Uh, I'm trying to recall what you can do. To where you can actually... Uh, <laughs> I forgot. Um... Like with Shadow and Sonic and stuff like that, it's like the rail stage, and uh, you know, it's a rail stage to where you actually um, just kind of like race against each other. I always loved Sonic Adventure 2 Battles multiplayer. I think they should like, I think they should have like, um, some Sonic game have online multiplayer like that. That would be awesome. And I like the multiplayer in this game too, it's pretty fun at times, but you know, other times, it wasn't my cup of tea. Because I liked the race... Oh, gosh. I liked the race stages as well in uh, this game. I think there are some. It's like miniature versions of the main stages. Since the main stages are kind of long, so they kind of cut them, like, in half or something. I always like those, because I play them with my like siblings and stuff. My dad, so... It's kind of, uh... Kind of fun, actually. I always, I always thought it was funny when I played the battle missions against them though, because they'd always be like, "Oh, they they would hate it because I'd always win because I knew the secret to them." And that was either using uh, Tails' thunder shoot all the time, 
or actually um, using Sonic's Tornado. But I always prefer the Thunder Shoot. Okay. Is there a switch up here? Yeah, sure enough, there is. Okay. Come on. There we go. Mysterious switch. Wonder what it does. It's alive. Oh my goodness. Please don't make me fall into the uh fall into their swords. Good deal. Alright, you don't wanna accidentally fall onto my sword. Wait, what am I talking about? Fall into my sword. <laughs> I'm not making sense right now. But yeah. Oh my gosh, it's the behemoth himself. Okay, here we go. We just land on his head? I think that usually works best, or no. Actually, it's not right now. Um, let's see right here. Now we're gonna lay the smack down on him. Now, actually, right over here, you have to knock off their helmets and actually attack them from their head. And why? Why, Knuckles, are your... Oh my gosh. Yeah, I hate Knuckles. I, I actually, the more I've played um, Knuckles gameplay in this game, on like throughout this Let's Play, the more I hate him now. Because he's actually very slippery with his attacks. It's like he just goes all over the place, like he's flailing like an idiot. Like, <laughs> and it gets annoying. Because you can easily find yourself slipping off platforms and stuff, which is why I actually don't like using Knuckles in combat as much as I used to anymore. Because now that I remember in the past, that was actually how um, Knuckles is like his attacks and stuff con contributed to a lot of my deaths in the past when I was a kid, actually, to where I'd like play these stages and I'd get all upset because Knuckles would always use his. Like, do his silly attacks and stuff and, uh, you know, slip off. And see right here, like I said, if you look at these two rails, it looks like they just basically copied and pasted the stages. Okay, slow down right here. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, it looks like they copied and pasted, like, the Sonic Adventure 2 stages or something and added some water down below. Oh my gosh! Whoa, that was close. Okay, I'm gonna grind on this right here. Switch to the other side, like it says, and watch it. Whoa! Yeah, make sure you're not using tails on that um, grinding rail when you see it. Oh gosh, I hate those things. No, 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 no. Watch it, watch it. Watch it. No, no, no. Oh gosh, I survived. I survived. Hallelujah. Okay, good deal. Alright, uh, to take this dude out while he's asleep. Haha. -ha. Let's see. And come up here, actually. Actually, you know what we're gonna do? We're actually going to take these dudes out first. And then we're gonna actually go on and get this key over here. Because, uh, I don't want to risk actually losing this key. Because we need it in order to get the Chaos Emerald. Like, we didn't need it last time. You know, I usually just do those other stages since most people are like, Ooh, I want to see them and stuff like that, and trying to actually show them off. But if you can't, I mean, I totally understand. But, um, you know. Alright, triangle jump. I hate this section. I don't know, I always get so nervous right here because I think I'm going to fall off and I'm just like, I don't want to try it. Okay. Die. Die, Jack Lantern. Die. Thank you. Alright, stun him. And then fall in right here. Yeah, like I said, those Jack Lanterns, they are the devil. Okay, drop them. No! 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 Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's what I hate about those enemies so much. I have to die. I have to die. That's why I hate about those things so much. That's why I hate this stage so much. I don't even try and get an, e rank, an A rank anymore on these stages. Because you actually, if you lose your key there, it's like you have to die. And that's, those things are so stupid. Oh my gosh, I hate those enemies. They are the worst enemies in the game, in my opinion. They're just, ugh. I'm pissed. Because I, I possibly could have gotten an A rank, actually. But, now I can't. Because I have to restart it. 
the thing. Alright, that was close. Okay, don't know why I'm using Knuckles or Sonic, but it's all good. Look at that. He almost hurt me right there. Take that dude out. Alright, take this in the face. I hope you freaking die. You surprised me. Look at this. Look at this. They're overpopulating the area. I don't even Oh gosh. Be a good deal. No more of them. But seriously, that's why that's why I hate these stages so much. Those jack o' lantern get on my last nerves. It's like you have to constantly keep jumping with Tails or with the other characters, and it's not like you actually take them out. They just keep respawning in that section. It's terrible. Okay, that did nothing. Alright, so we're gonna just do short punches right here. Actually, you know what? Oh, see right there. Oh my gosh, I was doing short punches. And I flew off. I, I just, I hate Knuckles combat, and I hate those jack o' lanterns. Because, <laughs> I mean, Knuckles' moves and cool are cool and everything. Like, they're really cool, actually. I like them a lot. You know, you got the fire dunk and all that stuff. If you level him up, he can do, like, fireballs galore and everything. But why does he have to be so slippery? That's why I really don't understand. He just he's just flailing all over the place like an idiot, and then he ends up dying himself instead of actually doing much damage. All right then, so we're back. We're just gonna use Team Blast, take this dude out, easy like this, not to be concerned about him, because on this tiny platform it can actually get pretty dangerous. So. Yeah, this section I really hate as well. Like it's just like the last section of this stage, which is really really bad, and it just kills the fun of the stage. All right, so jump over this way. Woo! I love tails far like far like jumps. They like have a ton of distance, which is awesome. There you go. Alright, and now we have Sonic Glass. And Sonic, you gotta be pretty careful, because, um, I recall, I believe, last time, I actually, um, was homing attacking and stuff like that, and right in the middle of it, one of these dudes shot directly into my face while I was over the pit. It was, like, terrible. Okay, here we go. Flip him over, I'd rather him be the red version than the black one. Because, yeah, um... Those things, I really don't know exactly how they work out. I think, like, the black one, they basically make enemies attack stronger. And, oh my gosh, look at this place. It looks beautiful. It looks like freaking Scotland or something. And the water looks gorgeous. There you go. That is the end of the stage. I expect an E-rank, but I don't give a crap. Let's see what we have here. Yep, we got an E-rank. Or a D-rank? E-rank. Not my day. Yeah, I, I really don't even care right now. I mean, that's the sage. Ugh. I could have gotten A rank, most likely, if I didn't have to be concerned about the Chaos Emerald. So, but, you know, it's all good. So this Chaos Emerald's actually kind of difficult. It seems like this Chaos Emerald teases you more than any other Chaos Emerald. Because basically it'll just sit right in front of you, and wow, we just blazed through that. That was really easy, actually. Um, yeah, it'll, like, tease you to where if you don't get enough balloons, it'll just barely be in front of you, and it's like, you gotta really, really boost it in order to actually get it. But, there we go. That was pretty cool, actually. We totally owned that. And, uh, let's see. I'm trying to recall. Oh, yeah, it's one of these boss fights. Just basically an What a joke. What did you say? Now I'm really mad. You mad, bro? <laughs> so yeah, um actually uh with this stage right here is basically just another rampage. 
just want to take out these enemies and that's how you win this basically it can get pretty repetitive at times and I really think sometimes they were a bit lazy with the boss fights in this game um, cause you know just anyone can do that just send a ton of enemies to go after you I mean that's really not that creative and I've always thought that the Sonic series has had some pretty creative bosses like even if the games to some people are actually kinda bad I've always thought that the you know the boss fights actually kinda made up for some of the games but this case boss fights not so much oh my gosh we're like freaking surrounded by those turtles like in a game good deal Cool. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Take these dudes out while you can, while there's some stuff left in your team blast. Look at that. Look at that. That is just so amazing. Oh my gosh. That was, a, that was just beautiful. He was just skadooshing all over the place. Oh my gosh, no. Okay, good deal. Kill them all. Alright, so right here you want to actually use Knuckles in order to get these extra balloons and stuff. And uh, right here there's a shield and then you can just hop out of this and switch Sonic and shoot yourself over this way. Yeah, because you need that shield. A lot of crazy stuff is going to be happening. So. See right there? Look at that. We have like planes and everything around here. Now be careful, like I said, with Knuckles attacks, because if you're not careful, you will mess yourself up. Ah, oh, see right there? Look at that, lost my shield. Alright. See right here, I think really... Oh, what the... What the flip? Okay, 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 I think... Now's the perfect time for actually using the Team Blast. I'll go on and use it. I thought I could just kind of take them out, but I think actually we can get another Team Blast in a second, so we're all good here. Okay, come on, bring some more. Alright, here we go. Oh, this is so epic. We're taking... <laughs> he made freaking mincemeat out of those things. Did you see that? He just ripped them apart. I mean, Knuckles can't even... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Knuckles can't even do that. Okay. Don't stay in the same spot. Because those green guys will actually take him out. So. Okay, here you go. Good deal. Took him all out. Nice. That wasn't so hard. Alrighty. Time to get fireballs up your bomb. Alright, I was expecting actually for... Okay, come on. Take those dudes out. Good deal. Alright. Yeah, you want to actually fly kind of high to avoid these things, because they will actually spew spike balls at you. And hurt you. Okay, there you go. That's the last one. Alright, are there any more here? Yeah, here we go. Just do your fireballs and get prepared for them to actually just keep falling down. It's like enemies falling from the sky. Okay, but make sure you do not kill. You do not fly off with knuckles again. Like I said, I uh, don't think there's anything around. Okay, there's a balloon right there. Okay, and there's a balloon right there. Nice. Too bad this isn't on our other file though. Because we'd be getting, like, freaking lives galore. We have, like, 90 right now, I think, actually. So, okay, Team Blast time for the win. And, uh, this should do it for this boss fight, I believe. Oh, those were the last of them. Oh my gosh, they're still around! Okay, there we go. Now they're done. Don't get too excited, boys! Those were the easy ones! Shut your mouth and show me with your true power, then. Shkun, show me moves. So yeah, there we go, and uh, I'm hoping we actually got an A rank on that. If I could have just at least one A rank on this world, I would be... What? Oh my gosh, this game always... <laughs> trolling, trolling me right now. I was so hoping I, I'd ha I had an A rank right there. 
Alright then, so I uh, guess that basically does it for this video, so thank you all so much for watching. Uh, please remember to comment, like, and subscribe so you can for more vids, walkthroughs, and updates. Hope you all enjoyed the video, and uh, you know, next time we'll be doing uh, the Egg Fleet and then Final Fortress, and those are actually some of my favorite stages. Even if I do sometimes get hit in those stages at times, those are actually quite fun. I really like those stages, so I'm uh, going to be enjoying those, but um, until then, see you all, Kobanermites.